Boy, I'm glad that sure was a good dinner. I just love family get togethers. Why don't you tell us a story? Hmm. Well, how about a Bible story? Oh, Fred, I do declare. Now, you guys, you know that Paul's an atheist and Bubba's a Muslim, so you better be careful not to offend anybody. Mm hmm. We'll be careful. <laughs> Now, in the beginning... Assuming there was a beginning as opposed to some sort of endless cycle. In the beginning... Assuming he, she, or it exists. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God said... Let there be light. And God noticed the light. For God was not visually impaired. And God saw the light was good. Making an unprovable value judgment. And God said, Let there be a firmament dividing the waters above from the waters below. And God called the firmament heaven. No slight was intended to hell, you understand, because that was created a little bit later on. And God said, To no one in particular, Let the dry land appear. Let the earth bring forth grass and herb-bearing seed. And God experienced short-term memory loss and a severe case of the munches. But yet the supreme being did not inhale. And God made two great lights in the sky, the more stature-endowed light for the day and the less stature-endowed light to rule the night. Mm -hmm. And both the sun and the moon, it were lit and solar-powered. And God said, Let the waters and the earth bring forth every living creature. For God was not a creationist, you understand, you catch my meaning. He was a serious believer in the theory of evolution. And God made the animal companion of the earth after his kind, and the cattle after her kind, and every creature that creepeth upon the earth after their kind. And God said, to every animal companion, cattle, and creeping thing, I have given tree-yielding seed, and it shall be as meat. For all creatures are meant to be vegetarians. And on the seventh day, God took what is called a mental health break. Thus, the heavens and the earth and the sea and the host and the hostesses were all created in only six days. This may indicate to some that God was not, as many assumed, to be an elderly Jewish man, but instead a Methodist, for he did have a very Protestant work ethic. And thus it began. And lo, it was a sexist thing to make a man before a woman. But God fancied making man after his own image. Mm hmm Perhaps he needed some company. After all, the man was alone for nearly five billion years. But the deity then breathed into Adam's mouth the breath of life. And pushed hard upon his chest. The electric shock paddled the life. And man became a living being. God placed his creation into a garden lush with fruit. Which did raise moral dilemmas for mangoes and figs have feelings too, I do believe, as is uh, proven by what I do believe is their stimuli to recorded music and light. The deity told Adam, Behold, I have given you herb-bearing seed, and its grass is upon the face of all the earth. And Adam experienced temporary memory loss as well, and created what was known as the Middle East's first bong. God had Adam name all the animals. Without asking their permission first. I mean, those third little creatures didn't have to name God and Adam in return. Forced to devise terms for tens of thousands of species, Adam cleverly started with the word Bark. Mm -hmm. And by the time the poor man got to yak and zebra, he was tired, so he had to take what he called the world's first vacation. Censorship began as God took most of Adam's nominations, but he vetoed such terms as derriere. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and then God said, 
It isn't right that man should be alone. Sure, a bachelor like Adam may think he's living in paradise. He doesn't have to commit to any relationship. He can always get out of doing yard work. An important perk, given the extent of his verdant garden. But a single guy is more likely to be stressed out, depressed, or infirm, and to suffer from a statistically lower lifespan. So the patriarchal oppressor made yet another being. Without her permission, I might add. He fashioned her from Adam's rib without getting the required medical papers for the bone marrow transplant. The first man was, however, given an Adam's apple as non-monetary compensation. The Lord caused a deep sleep to come upon Adam. Despite the risk of being sued over an allergic reaction to the anesthesia, then God said, she shall be her husband's helpmate. Before amending that to, she shall be a full partner in a co-equal relationship. God brought Eve to the man. And the man made the world's first sexist remark. Hey God, you can make more babes. I have plenty of ribs. And the man then made the world's Second sexist remark. You shall be called woman, for you come from men. Ah!